want to read about the story of, of uh, Mary uh, having the faith to bear a child when she didn't know a man or have a relationship. Well, she had a relationship. She was um, um, uh, engaged to be married, but she hadn't been married or had and didn't have sex, so she was a virgin. And, and, and so uh, being able to have faith to have a child without the process of getting pregnant takes faith. All right? And so she ended up saying, be it unto me according to thy will. So let me, let me read this real quick, and then um, we can go on. Uh, and so um, let me start with verse... Let's start with verse 30. Uh, Luke, I'm sorry, Luke 1, verse 30. Uh, and the angel said unto her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will, will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, how will this be since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called holy, the son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has conceived, um, also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren for nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. So, so a couple things uh, that I want to point out real quick. It's 11 o'clock, so a couple things. Uh, one thing is she's talking to an angel. So if you don't understand that something supernatural is happening to you, when you are talking to an angel, then you, you are already off. Because one, you are talking to the angel. So now she has confidence enough to talk to the angel. That's one thing. The other thing is she is uh, intrigued because uh, that she, she's found favor. The Bible says she found favor. So God picked her over everybody else. So when you have favor... You don't know why you qualify, but you qualify. I declare you have favor. Stop trying to figure out why. Say out loud, I have favor. Say out loud, I walk in favor. And say, I don't know why. All right, so, so the angel appealed to her. She's a virgin. And then at this point, uh, 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 knowledge the knowledge, the, the, that same fruit keep appearing itself, the knowledge of good and evil. Knowledge appears to her. Wait a minute. How am I going to have a son if I, if I hadn't had sex? Every child that I know has come because somebody had sex, a man had sex with a woman, and she bare a child. How in the world can this be? And then the answer is not scientific. The Holy Ghost is going to overshadow you and you will conceive. So she does the math and it doesn't add up, but she still say, let's do it. S -s -sign, sign me up for it. It don't make sense. Sign me up. Let's go. The Lord tell you to do something. It doesn't make sense. Let's go. All right. What? You told me free life was going to be full. Let's go. All right. What, we, where the money going to come from? Let's go. Right, be it unto me according to the and the Holy Ghost. Now, now here, here's the thing, uh, you know, based off of uh, the revelation that God gave me, it's very, very controversial. But uh, you know, God came in uh, verse one and verse two. The Holy Spirit came in with him. 
Uh, all right, so they came in together. If you read Proverbs 22, I can't get into that, but uh, you'll see that the Holy Spirit was there with God the Father in heaven at the beginning. So now I want you to see this amazing conception. All right, the angel brings the word. When the angel brings the word, the word is life. The word is sperma. The word is living. All right? But you can't have life without putting the sperma in a womb. So the angel brings the word. I feel the Holy Ghost. The, 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 the angel brings the word, but the word is not enough. All right? The word is not enough. She's saying, okay, you brought me this word, but how in the world is this word, word going to come to pass? She said, and the, and the angel said what? The Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost is going to come upon you. There's the womb. All right? So you got the word and womb, which brings life. So Jesus is conceived by faith. So what does that mean, Kent Jones? That means at that point, she had to believe that she was pregnant. There was no evidence. She didn't do what she what everybody else did to get pregnant. She didn't do. All she had was the word and spirit. And she had to believe and then eat. And so now imagine her flat stomach, no husband. She's not married. Uh, uh, her, 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 uh, her husband is tripping. What, 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 you, what, you, what you mean you pregnant? Yeah, what, what you been doing? Oh, so an angel came to you. Okay, so that's the story. That's what, that's what you're going to give me. An uh, angel came to you, Mary. You pr uh, so, and so the faith that you have to have to look crazy for a little while. Free life. We might look crazy for, for a little while. But if you keep watching, over time, her stomach started to show. Then she had a baby who, who, who ended up being the savior of the world. Now, imagine how she had to guard her faith. Girl, you ain't pregnant. You just, you just sick. You're not, you're not pregnant. Y'all didn't do nothing, did you? Then you can't be pregnant. Everybody else, Mary, had sex to have a baby. How you going to have a baby without one? You see, all the knowledge of good and evil that came against her, her faith. And she had to say, man, Lord, be it unto me. And not only be it unto me, when it happened, she had to hold on to it. She couldn't abort the baby. <sighs> Hallelujah. And so in this, in this holiday season, coming up on 2023, a couple things. One, you need to say, before you understand, before anything happens, before you see evidence of the vision, if God told you something, you need to say, Lord, be it unto me according to your word. That's number one. Number two, you got to be willing to look crazy for a little bit. Because everybody's not going to believe you. It's not going to look good to everybody. What it look like this dude that, that's a rapper slash singer slash holy hip hop, whatever, not here, pastor, that joker crazy for a little while. So I am willing to carry out the vision and people are going to look at you crazy when you're doing something different, when you're doing something historic, when you're changing and shifting culture, when you're doing something that everybody else is doing. I am trying to save a generation based off of what God told me. So I said, okay, wow, this is, this is wow. Let's do it. Uh, let's do the numbers. Some of y'all used to take up offering back in the day. How, how you do that yeah. with that? Right. I don't know, but he keep making a way. He keep making a way. He's the one that makes ends meet. I'm just willing to look crazy in the process. 
Hallelujah. I'm willing to, to look, at, look at my wife and say, this was the offering and these are the bills. Laugh at it in some kind of way every single month. God. Some people are not willing to look crazy for what God told them. But after a while, that baby going to show. That baby going to show. I told him to put the Yahweh thing up here because, yeah, we've been working on it for a while. But now it's out. Now the record is out. Now Free Life has released music into the earth. Oh, the devil is in trouble. Under, but God is going to be glorified. So, so there's a vision. In 2023, you have to watch your babies. In 2023, you have to watch your baby. Because everybody's going to tell you it doesn't make sense. And so in this season, it's be it unto me. Look, uh, uh, what you want me to do? Let's go. Uh, where the money going to come? I don't know. Let's go. It'll be there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What you want me to do? Let's go. Let's, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Not, not, Lord, well, let me wait and see if that's the devil or is it God? Or is it... The devil don't talk up here. The only time there's a conversation with the devil is when you're doing something you don't supposed to be doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the devil ain't going to tell you to go bless people. You, you ain't got to be confused with that. The devil ain't going to tell you to go pray for somebody. The devil ain't going to tell you to do something uh, uh, beyond your means, uh, uh, you know, to bless the church or bless a person or, you know, Lord, I only got $200 to give it. That ain't the devil. Uh, now, you, you might be scared. You might be walking in fear. But that ain't the devil. The devil is like, keep that money. Go buy you a pound of weed. Go smoke. You know what I'm saying? Buy you, buy, buy you a prostitute. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the devil. It's easy. Yeah, it's easy. That's an easy conversation. Yeah, go slap that joker. Yeah, yeah. That's the devil. Like, like, let's stop making this hard. Church folk try to make stuff so hard. That you know what the devil is saying. All right. In this season, I'm guarding my babies. I'm gone all, all of it. I'm getting back to day one. I'm getting back to, to being on fire. I set myself on fire. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes, man, you, you, we go to people and, and, and depend on them to pump you up. And, 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 and sometimes, man, you just got to get in the presence of God and do what he tell you to do. And, 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 and trust that. So in this season, I'm like, be it unto me. Let's go. I trust you. It'll be there. Hallelujah. And I'm going to start climbing and trying to do stuff that's bigger than me. He got to help me. You got to help me, God. You told me to jump. And I jump. Now, if you don't save me, it's going to be on you. He ain't going to let you fall. All right. So, so, so. So, here's my challenge to you. Mary could have had a regular birth or a supernatural birth. You could do something based off men or you can do something based off God. You could do something on a level or you can do something on a whole nother level. And I believe that free life is a compilation and comprised of supernatural people. That God is sending me giants. It only took 12 disciples to change this world. We don't need, we, don't, we already mega. Y'all coming big. That's why you got two or three seats uh, next to you that's empty so you can unload all your stuff. Giants in here, boy. Let's go. I, I feel like I can win with what I got. We changing the world every, every time we get in here. So in this season, man, don't be afraid to say, Lord, let's, let's just go. 
There's an entrepreneurial spirit on this church. All right? Yeah. It's, time, it's time for you, you know, to be bold enough to start that business. We're going to start working on our next series. Uh, it's called Create. And, uh, and what I, I'm probably going to paint, uh, get some chalk, and we're going to be writing on the walls. We're going to create. We're going to create businesses. We're going to walk ourselves through it. I'm, I'm going to show you how to get off your job. There's nothing like working one day and it take care of the month. All right. Now, God going to tell you to do some stuff that you're going to have to be up three or four o'clock in the morning at some time. But there's a freedom that's coming to your time. I declare your time is free. Every minute of your life is not bogged down with something to do. Some of y'all just need to go sleep. All right, I'm about to be done. Pick you a movie to go to sleep on. That's, 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 that's my day. That's, today is one of them days that I'm going to get a good movie and I'm going to be out by the time the credits roll. By the time the title sequence come up, I'm going to be out. I'm finding me a, a, a movie to go to sleep on. I, I'm learning to rest. And rest takes work. Yeah, turn this devil off and be okay with, with what they saying on the in, in, internet and just don't, don't look. You know how it is when you post you post something and you keep refreshing to see who said something, how many likes you got. You know, your thumb be just about bent broke because you're trying to refresh the page. Just, can you turn that mug off and rest? I'm, I'm in the season of be it unto me. I trust you. Let's go. All right? 2023 is going to be the best year of your life by far. I fought. And ever since I've been saying that, every year's gotten better and better and better and better. Hallelujah. My health has returned to me. Glory be to God. It got just every year. All right. And this year is going to be amazing. Glory be to God. This year um, is the year that we don't think about money. Y'all miss that, boy. So as soon as I said that, y'all thought about y'all bank account. <laughs> now, you, you, you're going to get yourself to the point where you make moves without considering money. Amen. You go grocery shopping without considering money. You just get what you want. You get the good juice. You don't have to buy the big K. You can get the real orange crush. You ain't got to get the cola. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to save 10, 10 cents. You ain't got to you splurge on the real bread. You, say, you got the bread with no name. That mug be green two days. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. There's a level of belief being unto me. What faith. You, ain't, you don't have to know everything. I just trust God. 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 So, so if there's a vision, there's something that you're afraid to do, say out loud, be it unto me, God. All right. Don't worry about don't worry about the details. We, we, we don't worry about the details. Don't worry about the details. All right. Be it unto me. Now, the, the next thing is you got to do I'm into next week's message, uh, but you got to make a move. You got to do something. Oh, Lord, you're going to do it. No, you got to do it. The, uh, 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 hmm. Lazy faith is an oxymoron. Faith can be seen. Laziness is you sitting down on something. And you know everything. A lot of people are very smart. You're very, you, you know everything about what you want to do. It just hadn't hit your feet yet. So your brain is smart. Your feet are stupid. And you ain't going to make nothing happen without feet moving. You got to get to the point where you have very little information and you just move on what you got. 
Nah, man, I'm down here. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess. You want an LLC? You want a C Corp, S Corp? Yeah, yeah. Which one? Um, let me get that LLC. Uh, <laughs> you got to go with something. Amen. Father God, we love you. This is the most prosperous year of our lives. We're moving out on, on your faith. We trust you. Thank you for this Christmas. Uh, thank you for, for signs and wonders happening today. That people are calling us that we never thought we'd hear from. Uh, Lord, let us squash the small stuff. Let us forgive quickly and repent quickly. Let our heart be empty of mess. We celebrate you in this season. In Jesus' name. Let me tell you something. The quality of life is based on your decisions and not people's decisions about you. When you decide you're going to live good, your life is good. That, that, that's it. That's, that, that, is, that, is what, that is the simplest thing in life. That I decide that, that a good life is internal. It's not external. It's not how big. We, we don't been in all types, sizes of houses from from uh, what's the big, the biggest was uh, just about 20,000 square feet, lake, pool, and that was some of the, my saddest days. Now we living in a small house. Well, it ain't small, but it's, it's the smallest that we've been in in a while, and I love it. Comfortable. Cozy. That big old house, boy, I lost my keys in there. Boy, it took me three hours to find the key. I'm like, man, this is the devil right here. The, 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 the house we in right now, keys can't be in but one or two places. <laughs> I can look like this. Oh, that is right there. But, but look, don't think because you somebody that got this and people know your name that you got to spend all your money to please folk. Man, please. Whatever. We got a towel. I, I had a Cadillac. Yeah, the Lord told me to take it back, and I'm so glad he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That bill was a, a house note. Yeah, I, I didn't need it. So my days of flossing and flexing is over. I, I don't have to get approval from the outside. I get approval from the inside. Yeah, bro, shop, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, so people telling you that you fell off, it's like, no, you ain't on my level, so you can't see me. You can't see me, so you ain't on my level. I ain't heard from you. Yeah, because I don't live down there no more. I'm on another flow. That's why, that's why you can't see me. That's why, that's why you ain't heard from me. Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on, man. It's a good life. Decide to live good. Say out loud, I decide to live good. Today. I have a good life. Today. Yeah, not, not based off of your car, your, your outfit, your, where you live. It's based off of how you live here in your mind. Yeah. There's some rich people jumping off buildings. They got everything and have nothing. Don't let, don't let what you get and didn't get for Christmas spoil your life. Say like this, y'all missed out on the opportunity to sow into my life. <laughs> Yo bad. Oh, you ain't get me nothing? Yo bad. You missed out on the opportunity <laughs> to be blessed. <laughs> Go get sleepy. It's get it's get it's drifting. It's drifting. It's drifting. All right. Man, I love y'all, man. Uh uh, uh, Sunday, uh, next Sunday is uh, New Year's, New Year's Day. And so we'll start the Create series. That Create series is going to be about entrepreneurship and how ideas of how to work ourselves off of our jobs and, and build a community of faith to make us prosperous. We got to figure it out. All right, we got, we got to figure it out. Uh, the book of Acts is going to be n nobody was lacking. 
So we, we're getting ready to have these ideas. And so we're going to do it as a church. We're going to get in the word, but we're also going to have ideas and we're going to figure it out. All right. We're going to figure, we're going to figure it out together. All right. Uh, and so um, it's going to be something different than any other type of message I've done because it's going to be all inclusive. It's going to be called create. All right. In the beginning, God created. So that means he wants us to create. All right. All right. So uh, <clears throat> Lord bless us. Thank you for this awesome service. I went way over. Um, bless everybody. Let this Christmas be so great for everyone. Uh, we praise you. Thank you, Jesus, for coming to die for us. We celebrate you. Happy birthday, Jesus. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right. All right, man. Y'all have a great... Listen, if you want to join this church, we, we, we uh, kind of ghetto... So how it is, is when you come eat with us, you are already joined. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So even though you go, might go to another church, we your side church. Yeah, we clingy. Yeah, yeah, we clingy. Yeah, yeah. We know you go to Mount, Mount Bethel, but when we see you in the grocery store, we're going to say, free life. No, Mount Bethel. Free life. No, new birth. Free life. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we're clingy church. We, you look right. Y'all here again? Yeah, free life. All right. So, uh, enjoy, enjoy your day, man. Eat good. Watch some football. Be blessed. Huh? Say it again. Oh, and uh, every night we do prayer. Man, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. Every night we've been doing prayer. And so tonight we'll be here. We were here last night. We'll be here tonight after that. All right. Uh, be blessed.